Let's go ahead and quick save. This is the perfect time to quick save, clearly. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Oh, one shot should take care of them easily with a crossbow. Most of the time. Oh, that's, uh, that's another grenade. I mean, these guys definitely have a better throwing arm than me. I will concede. So, I could probably congratulate them on that. But at the same time, I don't really like the grenades as weapons to begin with, and they're not really making proper use of them. They're just kind of throwing them. And they are it's like they're expecting me to not run away, but no. I think I'm pretty honed in my reflexes on how to avoid grenades, so... These guys have nothing on me. I want to see if I can get back upstairs, because I think I need to be upstairs to actually make progress. Being down here, probably not the safest thing in the world, I want to say. I need that health kit. This security guard isn't really using it right now, so I could probably take full advantage of it in this situation. Right, open the door. Don't open the door then, fine. We're just gonna travel down here for a while, because I'm kind of blocked off in this route. Yeah, that's... A little bit of an invisible wall disguised as a bunch of rubble. This is not great. Plenty of beams to travel up, however. That's fine. Jump. Nope, missed the jump. Very good at parkour, as you can probably tell. Let's try that again, maybe with a little bit less in the way of failure, because failure is not an option in this situation. Failure was never an option to begin with. We have to save the world as typically most heroes of video games must do, so... Failure is never an option. Is there a point to going down here? Oh, I guess there is. Oh, my! Hi! That's some... Um, Vortigaunts. Okay. Let's not get shot by electrical voltage again. Not... Oh, boy. Here comes the bees. Oh, that's not good. Please, no. Please, no. No bees. I want to deal with the bees right now. Really? Why are they combining the aliens with the military? This isn't right. This is all wrong. Oh, that was the best shot in the world. There's um a lot of military guards, I've noticed. They're all just kind of having a tea party out there, which is kind of adorable. Let me just reload while taking cover real quick. And, um... He's really good at... Dodging my moves, as you can no doubt tell. My moves! You know, I'm burning up the dance floor right now, as you can plainly see. These guys ain't not got nothing on my moves. My dance moves. Very smooth. I don't know where this commentary is going, by the way, but it is descended into a form of no quality whatsoever. Right. Knowing the fact that there's a bunch of military guards out there, we could probably stand to make a few more rational decisions such as maybe using a rocket. I think a rocket would actually be pretty good in this situation. So... That's really not fair in my opinion. He just gets a cheap shot as soon as he spawns in. That's not- I'm not a fan of that. I'm really not a fan of that. I- I need to reload. <laughs> Give me a second. This, I need to go reload my gun. Alright, let's try that again. Is he still out there? No, pretty sure he's dead. Alright. Oh, no, no, that's, that's actually kind of a bad spot to quick save. Oh, boy. Oh, butts. But it's okay. We have rockets. Alright, I think we've used enough rockets. Maybe we could actually try to use weapons that aren't rockets just for the time being until we find a healthy supply of them. In which case, I'll probably be a bit less adamant on avoiding the usage. How are you still alive? You, really? Screw you. Get out of here. I don't like you. I don't like you very much. I forgot to reload my magnum. <laughs> this is- that's not a rational decision. This is a mess. <laughs> oh boy. Military guards- oh my! This- oh wow, this was a really horrible spot to quick save. Alright, well, I have- Plenty of submachine gun rounds, so I could probably stand to use these for a while. I mean, look at that! One grenade took out two military guards, out of presumably the 10 million respawning ones that are probably infinitely respawning, which really, really wouldn't surprise me. Look at all of them! Wow. That's a lot of military guards, I'm gonna say. 
quite a lot of military guards. Somebody is still firing their gun out there, and that's a little bit rude of them. Alright. There's another one down. Like, who's shooting? Is that- Oh boy, that must be a helicopter. From the sounds of things, that's- Nope, that's the sound of bees. But there might very well just be a helicopter out there. You never know in this situation. I mean, at least the guy with the bees is kind of helping me out because it means I have to spend a bit less in the way of ammunition taking care of these guys. But at the same time, I don't really think those guys are my best friends. Please don't neutralize Freeman. Freeman would prefer to remain on the opposition right now rather than be on the neutral party because that would not be great. That would mean I would pick no sides and I would just be such a wishy-washy individual. Yeah, you just go ahead and keep reloading your submachine gun out there. It's not as if I'm aiming right down towards you. Okay. That might have gotten rid of them. This is probably a bad time to quick save. Yeah, bad time. Really bad time to quick save. But at least we attracted the attention of a bunch more military guards. So, there is that at least. I mean, we're becoming more and more popular as we make these videos of us shooting down military guards, so obviously we're a high priority target for them. And that's A-OK, -okay because I can always use more attention in my life. I have one crossbow bar Bart left. Bolt? <laughs> Bart? I don't, know where, well, I don't know what English is, okay? English is like some sort of forward concept to me. Don't, don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay. Any more military guards? I keep forgetting I have the B cannon. Like, oh yeah, these guys, they home in on the nearest target. I should just keep using this. This is probably not a bad weapon, actually. I mean, it takes a little bit of time to reload, but it's all worth it in the end because bees. They're gonna take those military guards out eventually. I actually have a source of infinite ammunition. Well, we're gonna be sitting here for a while, just shooting out a few bees from time to time. But we're gonna win eventually because we have the bees. Those guys don't have the bees. Look at that. We're even getting achievement progress for this. Alright. Now it's getting a little bit nerve-wracking. We kind of have to duck in and out and use one B at a time before we can actually do anything. Bees. B! Buzz, 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 buzz! Ow. Now that we know that the helicopter is indeed destroyable, if that's even a term I could use, destroy a bull, then we're gonna wait things out right here. Quick save once again. And um, I did not. Oh, that's that's not great. That is horrible. Uh, uh. Hang on, there he is. Oh, really? Is that how much the blast radius of that thing is? I'm not. I'm not a fan of this, as you can no doubt tell. I'm actually kind of miffed because. Well, there's a lot of military guards here. This is a really bad spot to quick save. Oh boy. You're not even contributing to anything! You're just kind of running ahead in front of me! That's rude. Get rid of the helicopter, 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 helicopter's down. Quick save again. We get more rockets because they counted on this actually happening. I think the helicopter might be dead. If not, then we'll just let it make another pass by, and we'll get rid of it. Okay? This is progressive. We're gonna get somewhere eventually. There he is. There. We got rid of the helicopter, you guys. Oh, oh I'm miffed. I am rather irritated by this whole situation. That was smart. That was the smartest decision I ever made. But it's okay. You know why? Because it's all a it's all a series of trial and error. We're gonna get through this one day. In fact, I'm probably gonna cut out most of what just happened, just so that way I can get to the point where I realized the mistake I was making. And yo, we're probably gonna end the episode off really soon because I'm getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of everything in this right now. This 
entire section was invented by someone who really needs to go stand out in the winter cold for a while and think about their life. They really need to think about the decisions they made, because the decisions they made, I don't exactly conform to them. Like, this is... I understand that Half-Life kinda has to be a little bit difficult. You know, I'll concede, Half-Life is a difficult game in all essence, but it's a game where you can sort of memorize everything that happens, and then you sort of learn how to deal with that situation. In this game, normal difficulty is a little bit more difficult than it needs to be, if that even makes any sense. I don't think the balancing was really done that well. In fact, this is a good idea. This is the best idea I've had in a while. Please go blow that up. I want you to run right into that laser. He was not affected by that in the slightest, was he? Come on, come on, walk over here. You can do it. Don't you dare run away from me. Oh, you... He's taking cover, too. <sighs> Well, guys, this is Black Mesa Source. This is only the best game in the entire world. You know, we set up these situations so that way, you know, we can give the player a very fun and memorable experience of what Half Life was originally like. And yeah, this is definitely the best balancing of the game that has ever been seen in the entire history of mankind. This is normal difficulty! <laughs> this is normal difficulty, you guys! I'm just gonna keep throwing grenades. I don't care at this point. As soon as all these military guards are dead, then I won't have to spam any more grenades anytime soon. I don't like you. I don't like everything that has to do with you. All of you are the worst people of mankind. And oh look, it's the bees. Isn't that lovely? Hey guys. Aren't you so glad to be fighting the guys with bees? Man, I love fighting the guys with bees. Only the guys with the bees are the best enemies. Those are the knees of the bees right there. Alright. Quick save. And I think this is about the time we end the episode off, because... Well, this being Black Mesa Source, pretty much any time I end an episode, I'm left feeling with misery and regret. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day or evening. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.